And I think I didn't realize, you know, when, when I read the pilot script, it was all so quick and we were moving so fast. I didn't, I hadn't thought through over the course of the whole series how many different roles I would get to sort of play in one show. So, yeah, it's what you imagine when you're little acting to be, playing all these different characters. I, I get to do that, so it's a bit of a dream. One of my favorites is um, a couple of episodes away still, and I eat the brain of a computer gamer. And I didn't, I mean, I read it, and I read that, and I was like, oh gosh, I don't know anything about gaming, I don't know if this is going to be my episode. I loved it, I had, well, that was probably one of the funnest characters for me to take on, and luckily Rob Buckley and Raul Coley are very dedicated gamers, and they talked me through what was and wasn't convincing, and where you look on the screen, and all the language, which I was just baffled by. Um, we had a lot of fun with that. There's another one, I eat two brains um, in one episode, a cheerleader and a stoner, and that <laughs> that is something. <laughs> she dabbles in a little martial arts. Something to look to. Well, in the computer gaming episode, is she going to be necessarily taking on um, Challenging Major because that's like one of his passions? Uh, there isn't a there isn't a huge correlation between those. No, that was mainly off-screen. Rob Buckley doing his coaching with me. Um, he's got his own very interesting storylines that start to come up that keep him pretty focused through those episodes. Yeah, to an extent that the talent itself is gone, but the interest in that realm doesn't necessarily go away, you know, and live, um, I mean, I think it's like anything, if you go camping for a few days, you don't necessarily end up in my own life camping every weekend, but I can recognize that that's something valuable and, and learn something from it, and I think she has that same sort of experience when uh, she takes on these characteristics, and maybe she learns that she has more physical prowess than she thought, or whatever it might be, and, and builds her confidence. I think, um, tonally, I just trust Diane and Rob, and we talk through each episode where we feel the brains are being most effective, and we talk to the directors and within the cast, I kind of get a sense, it's in a lot of the dialogue, the writing is there for me, but sometimes it's, it, it can be quite hard because, you know, she's dealing with her own situations in her life, and I didn't want the brains to overbear upon that and, like, take over the story, so it's, it's an interplay between the two, and it's a bit of a delicate balance. I mean, I think... Um, it was actually quite useful to have a couple of months to really gear up and be able to do the prep that I hadn't really been able to do before the pilot. I got to watch a ton more zombie films and um, and re-watch Veronica Mars, watch a bit of Buffy, kind of was able to look at some references, which was really helpful. And, and then I think it's more just being on set every day, being comfortable and relaxed with the crew. Those are the things that really help me feel like I can just be live every day without thinking and having to be on and introducing myself to people, but kind of able to just inhabit the room. Five minutes um, in the morning, but actually, I think I spent about an hour and 40 minutes putting on my makeup today, so <laughs> it's not that outrageous. Um, you know, it's airbrushing and it's, it goes into my hairline, and then we put a wig on, and then there's some dark eye makeup, there's all sorts, but I actually find it really helpful. It helps me really step into and live every morning when I'm 4 a.m. foggy waking up. It kind of gives me the time I need to prepare, so it's, it's not a bad thing. And it's a disaster because it normally takes about 40 minutes to get it off when you. I've used oils to get it out of my skin if I've been wearing a singlet or like a... What do you call them? Tank tops. If I've been wearing a tank... We call them singlets so everybody thinks I'm talking about wrestling. Um, uh, a tank top, I have to take it off my arms and everything and use an oil to get rid of that and then I have to wash the spray out of my hair and stuff. So it is quite a long process and occasionally I have just been in a brush where I've been feeding somebody after work. And so on the way home, I'm like popped into a supermarket with like spray white hair and like half of my face. And I don't think about until people are staring at me very strangely. <laughs> I think it's in its own special place. I mean, since Night of the Living Dead, the way in which the zombie genre has been subverted over the years, every single, or a lot of the films that I saw really explored it in different ways. There's the sort of shuffling zombie, and then there's the rabbit zombie, and there's Shaun of the Dead, which is the funny zombie stuff. It, is all, it kind of has come about in all these different ways, and I think this is the first time we've seen a zombie comedy romantic, dramatic procedure. <laughs> well, there's one last question. Maybe you could talk about she's got a new romance coming up on the horizon. How quickly will that be introduced, and what can you tease about it? Uh, within the next couple of episodes, um, we start, we meet her potential zombie suitor, um, and I, I think that people will be conflicted about it. You know, there's some wonderful things, and we want Liv to fall in love again, but she's very much not over her relationship with Major, and um, that can prove very compromising. 
you know what? It was a surprising one. I had to, and I won't tell you in what context exactly, but I do paintball later in one of the episodes. And it was something that I didn't know I had to prepare for in quite the same way. You know, next episode I do some martial arts, and I actually, I was a Power Ranger in the past, and so we had done quite a lot of martial arts training, and um, I sort of was ready for other things. Paintball, for some reason, really just came at me and knocked me side on. I was like exhausted after shooting that, just running around and sleeping in these heavy, kind of with the guns and the heavy gear and in the heat. It was, yeah, unusual. Um, major, yeah, to an extent. I mean, Clive starts to really get suspicious. <laughs> He's dealing with her each week, just being like, what is happening to you? Uh, there's some really, really funny stuff that comes up.